John, uh, this is the first time that we've had a chance to talk to you since you've been back at work here. Uh, let's just start out by asking, you know, how are you feeling now? You know, I feel great. I'm glad that I uh, was able to get through it and, and um, got great care here from our doctors. And uh, the hardest thing, I think, was the, you know, the quarantine of not being able to see anybody for about 10 days. So uh, it was a little bit lonely there, but I uh, was very fortunate. We had great docs and uh, got through it with flying colors. Uh, what, what was your experience like overall? I mean, would you say you had pretty uh, difficult symptoms or were you okay? You know, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I think probably the worst thing in mind is I got pretty fatigued and got tired. And so, you know, got plenty of rest with that. Didn't have a lot of the other um, symptoms that a lot of other people had. So I got a little nauseous, and but really fatigued. And so, but that lasted for a couple of days and, and then was able to, you know, to start doing some things. Well, we're glad that you're definitely feeling better now. Uh, you know, the Broncos just played their final game, a home game with fans. The NFL's, uh, you know, uh, getting a little bit stricter with some of the policies. What's your perspective on this now after having gone through it yourself? Well, you know, Phil, I think that, uh, you know, right now with, uh, <clears throat> with the cases growing all the time and uh, the NFL is doing a tremendous job as far as uh, – you know, trying to lock things down and be real, real safe with it and protect our players and protect the staff. And so, um, you know, d difficult times. And, you know, we've adjusted this whole year, so we'll continue to adjust. And so, you know, obviously we want to make sure that uh, hopefully someday we get this whole thing behind us. And I think it's uh, much better to be safer now than sorry. When you're ready to buy a house, a mortgage from U.S. Bank could help make it possible and we'll be with you every step of the way. See about pre-qualifying today. U.S. Bank, the power of possible. As for the uh, product out on the field, the Broncos coming off a big win against the Dolphins here. Drew Locke's obviously gone through a little bit of adversity uh, the last couple of weeks. How have you seen him battle through that? You know, I think that's one of the, the bright things that, uh, that, that Drew has done is he's very resilient and he's continued to bounce back and you know, you're going to go through growing pains, especially as a young quarterback. He had the five starts last year and then started early for us and then got banged up and missed a couple of starts and, and, you know, came back in. So, you know, I think we're excited about what we've seen. Obviously, the consistency hasn't been there where we wanted it to be. But, you know, you look at everything that's gone on for us this year. I think that they've hung in there and done a heck of a job. No offseason with a new, you know, new offensive staff. You know, a lot of young guys playing no preseason games. So. You know, everything's been kind of a little bit against us, but I think that these guys have not let that affect them and they've continued to work their tail off and, you know, keep their nose to the grindstone and continue to work hard week in, week out. Obviously, we haven't been as, as consistent as we'd like to have been, but, uh, you know, we'll continue to work on that. And I think, like you said, last week's game, we still had a couple mistakes in there, but we continued to fight. And, you know, it was, it was a very productive day for us as a, as a football team. Defense played well, special teams was good, and then offensively we were able to put some points on the board. I know when you are a young quarterback, you had some of those growing pains too. Uh, did you give any advice to Drew, you know, just quarterback to quarterback? Yeah. You know, I've had some good talks with Drew and, you know, I'm excited about him. And, you know, I think that uh, he, he's got the right mentality because he wants to be great. And I think he'll continue to work on that. But obviously when, when you're going through it as a young quarterback, you're going to see a lot of different things, a lot of different looks. So you know, defensive coordinators know when they got a young quarterback and try to confuse them. And so I think that he's done a heck of a job going through that. Every snap he takes this year, Phil, he's going to continue to get better and it's just going to help him in the future. Uh, you mentioned uh, all the adversity that the teams had to go through this season. Uh, what do you think of the job that Vic Fangio's done? Now, how have you seen him grow <laughs> in his second year here in Denver? Well, there's been so many different schedule changes and everything that's gone on. And a lot of different protocols have been put in place all the time. So, you know, I think Vic's done a tremendous job. He's been very flexible with everything. And, you know, obviously coaches, and especially if you've been in the league as long as Vic have, you kind of get settled on a, on a schedule and what you're used to. And this has been totally upside down from what we're used to and what he's used to. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of Vic. And I think the growth that he's shown as a head coach, how he's handled the football team and, and that kept all the players focused on what we're doing with everything that's going on outside the building. I think he's done a tremendous job. you got the Saints coming to town this week. Uh, Drew Brees obviously uh, not <clears throat> playing this week here, but, you know, this might be his final go around uh, through the league here. What, what do you thought about his uh, tremendous career? Well, it's been unbelievable. And I think that, uh, 
you know, you look at him and the things that he's been through and his work ethic and, you know, he's a surefire hall of famer five years after he gets done. And, and, uh, you know, he's just a guy that uh, is, you know, great example for this league of guys that work hard and, and continue to grow like he has. He's been a, a tremendous credit as a player, as, as well as a person for the NFL. And the last one for you, John, here, a couple of days, Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, what's a go-to staple on the table at, at the Elway house? Well, my mom always made a great dressing. And so she had her own little dressing. And so we'll, uh, we'll attempt to, uh, to make it as well as she did. We never quite do, but uh, the dressing is always our staple. Well, John, I'm uh, glad you're feeling better and I uh, hope you have a happy holiday. Thank you, Phil. You too.